Good morning, Dapplings, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm, and of course to Stardew Valley. It is early morning on Monday the 15th. Okay, let's see what uh, tomorrow's going to be like. It's a quite a bright, sunny day today for us. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Very well. And what about uh, Wellwick? Wellwick, how are the spirits feeling? Spirits feel neutral today. Okay, well, uh, then uh, our fate is in our hands. And finally, living off the land. Uh, it's salmon berry season. Oh, of course, yes. The 15th, I think, to the 18th. All across the countryside, bushes are teeming with juicy little berries. And they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. Now, the interesting thing with salmon berries is they're one of fairly few crops, I believe, where the base value is so low that generally speaking, bang for buck, you should make them into jam rather than wine. Hello, Yoko, Borita. Uh, because wine, I, I think it's something to do with the amount of time that wine takes to make. It may simply strictly be be uh, less less profitable to have it as wine, or it might simply be a function of how long it takes to make wine versus jam and, and the extra days it takes. You're kind of losing value per day, if, if you like to think of it like that. Um, the other interesting note about sound berries, other than the fact that they're not a, not a bad gift, quite a lot of people are okay with them, especially salmon berry jam. I, th I think uh, maybe three or four people who are okay with salmon berries uh, just, you know, uh, straight salmon berries like this um, whereas I, I think most people are okay uh, it's a light gift for the jam itself but interestingly I do believe that if you have the right set of perks you can end up in a scenario where salmon berries are themselves more valuable than salmon berry wine would be and I think that's because of an interesting um, kind of interplay between the way um, salmon berries can be uh, affected. Oh, we've got a lot of forage to collect. Uh, can be affected by um, your foraging skills. So you can be guaranteed a high quality item due to your um, basic foraging skills. However, wine, you can't affect salmon berry wine. I don't think salmon berries get affected by the artisan bonuses, which is a bit of an interesting one. Also, let's have a quick look. I would say, yeah, they're, they're better, better than the um, the spring onion forage. Interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. Also, we've got an awful lot of, uh, of forage here. That's fantastic news for us. Additionally, we've got a, a letter. Let's go ahead and check that. Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. Oh, thank you very much, Evelyn. Very, very kind. We've also got enough money for a backpack, but we're going to wait on that one. Uh, I mean, we will be getting it today, but uh, we're not going to rush out there immediately and get one, is what I mean. Hmm, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more fertilizer for what we're going to be working on. Sure, let's uh, grab this uh, this axe and go to work. Yoko is having quite a, quite a lot of fun today. Oh, there's a salmon berry bush that I missed just down there. Let's get you, Tonk. Thank you very much. I should grab my scythe as well. Uh, this is this is where. Uh, where was that? There was one. Oh, there we are. Yoink. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, are we going to get regular ones? Yes, we are. Okay, fair enough. I wasn't sure if we were going to end up with uh, silver star, but we didn't get a single silver star. Uh, of all of that, which is a little bit of an interesting one. Right, got a little bit of extra sap there. I would like a, I would like a little bit more wood, honestly. Ooh, some more sound berries. Uh, I would definitely like a little bit more wood. I would like to make a chest specifically for containing items I intend to take to the community center. I think that would be very, very helpful. Now, today is a nice day for us, and in fact, I think the next two days are going to be as well, in that I don't believe anyone's got a birthday, I don't think there's any events, I'll have to check the calendar at PA's store, because, again, my memory's kind of patchy in the things that I remember, 
there are certain things that are that are kind of cemented in my memory, and then there's other things which, eh, you know, who knows, really. I, I've got a vague recollection of certain details, but I'm not even sure that they're accurate at this point. Certainly, some things have just straight up changed, so we'll have to go and check in on that. But I do believe that this is going to be enough for us to make a chest. There we are, of course. Right, now, next up, let's have a quick gander and see... There are any items in here that cause that flashes on wood. Okay, well, wood is what's a construction resource. You know what? Maybe I should put wood in a separate chest. Maybe everything to do with trees in general. Have we got anything in there that we need? No, it doesn't look like we do. Okay, well, that's fine then. Let's go ahead and pop this, I think, over here. That can that can just be a regular chest, and we'll we'll pop things in there, as and when we we get the uh, the need to. Uh, let me just do one more final sweep, just to be certain. No, there is nothing in here that we particular uh, particularly need. Okay, right. So we're going to grab the sap now. We're also going to take out all of the basic uh, forage, and we're going to turn that into new seats. Now, one of the, the unfortunate, or perhaps fortunate, depending on the way you look at it, I guess, uh, one of the qualities of forage seeds, or, or rather wild seeds, if you like, is that they will give you forage experience rather than farming experience. Now, that might not be what you're really looking for, and uh, certainly I, I wouldn't say no to the farming experience right now, but this is good enough, I think, for us. For the time being. Now, unfortunately, I can't use any more of this, I guess. You know what? It's probably still beneficial for me to make those into seeds. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say it is. And then we'll just add a little bit of fertilizer around here. There we go. And we should be able to get all of these planted in place. And we are going to be one shy. All right. Let's get that sorted. Perfect. Now, we'll have some nice quality forage out of that, and that will hopefully have helped our foraging skill just a tad. But ugh, the watering is quite the chore, and it's already midday. Hmm, we may take a, uh, a trip over to Pierre's before I finish the watering. We'll see what kind of progress we make, but I will bring you back when uh, when I make a decision either to abandon the watering in order to rush over to Pierre's and hopefully grab myself a backpack or because we finished it and we can then get on with the rest of our day. So see you in a few moments. Okay, I think having watered just the first large area, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a run down to Pierre's and hopefully you know what? I'm going to plant that seed as well. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that there. I'll have to remember to water that when we get back. But we definitely need to go and uh, get a, a backpack now rather than later. It's already 3 p.m. We've used up the vast majority of the day gathering, uh, sorry, uh, watering crops. I suppose we did spend a fair bit gathering salmon berries as well, so I'm, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break on that one. But... Uh, Oh, actually, on that note, salmon berries? No, salmon berries are not required for any of the bundles. Right, let's go and have a quick peek. Hello, Pierre. I brought an awful lot of money. Oh, hello, Leah. Trees look nice today, don't they? So, why did you become a farmer? Um, I wanted to escape my whole life, honestly. <laughs> that seems to be the, the motivator for the, uh, for the character. That's pretty much the reason I came here, too. Kindred spirits, here you go. That's a really nice gift, thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. If you're looking for seeds, you've come to the right place. Well, actually, I'm looking for a backpack. Please and thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh we've literally just doubled our backpack. So good. So good. Um, I could I could pick up some extra seeds, actually, as well. I may have got 300 quid. Um, sure. Let's just make my, my my job every day a little bit harder. Why not, eh? Uh, <laughs> I should have thought about that before. Before the idea of having more crops uh, leapt out of me. It's like, hey, hey, hey. Do you want more crops? Do you want to tie yourself down to your farm for even more of the day? Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. Yeah, that makes sense. Clear your head. 
Surprising how much change scenery can help. Yes, I, I agree with that quite a lot, actually. Well, Evelyn, thank you so much for your letter this morning. Oh my, what a lovely day. I agree. Oh, I told you, Haley and I sisters. Strange, isn't it? No, I... I uh, again, I, I think you're so different that you could really only be sisters. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're more than welcome, Evelyn. I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Well, that's what she likes to be, though. Hello, Vincent. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. That's very cute. Okay, bye! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take care, Vincent. Hello, Harvey. We sell a few over-the-counter medicines at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. I know that being a farmer is pretty tiring work. Just don't overdo it. I make no promises. Once again, once again, I, ca I cannot, I cannot agree to this, this condition. No. Ah, okay, well, right now, we're just kind of waiting on the next, uh, oh, we're, we're getting two items of forage right now. Has, oh, you know what? I am wondering, oh, there we are, some parents over there. I am wondering if my skill has just increased. And I'm gaining the benefit of the skill. Now, if we pop our heads in here, I believe there is a little bit of something over there. Just there. It's a battery-powered lockbox. Unfortunately, there's no battery in it. Yes. We're going to have to come back in the rainy season, as we've had a couple of lightning strikes, and we actually have a lightning rod and a few batteries to use with it. But, interestingly, I know that the amount of salmon berries you get goes up by level. As you increase in level, and this is true of all of the, the, the kind of berry forage, you'll get more based on the, on the level you're at. What is our level at the moment? Let's just have a look at skills. Foraging, no, it's showing us four, so maybe I was always carrying, uh, always getting four, and I just, I just didn't notice it. That could easily be the case. Let's, let's be completely honest with ourselves there. Uh, right, let's drop off the forage. And the parsnips are coming with. Uh, do I have any more? Yes, we have to. Marvellous. Right, let's get the last little bit of watering done. But we also need to get a bit of more farming done as well. And honestly, on the plus side to this, we will gain the advantage of a, uh, a crop that will actually increase my farming skill. Which, you know, is kind of necessary. I am a farmer after all. Uh, we've got a little bit left over. Uh, it is going to kind of annoy me a little bit, but it's fine. I could plant these all in all sorts of other places, but I've kind of clustered everything nearby to my house now, and so it feels like I need to keep going with this, even though it's kind of rotting me a little bit to have such an unorganized farm. I keep telling myself, as soon as these that one row is gone, I will replace it with a path. And at that point, I'm going to start organizing the farm a little bit better. Because right now, it is literally a hodgepodge. Everything is, is, is everywhere. There's no real rhyme or reason to uh, the placement at all. Uh, even though I prepared that little place down there, all, all, all nice and snug, for the, the strawberry fields. And I prepared a second one, and then I just didn't use it for anything else. It's like, oh, well, it's not strawberries. It doesn't get the nice spot. My goodness. I've created some sort of classes system amongst my crops. <sighs> this is terrible. Uh, at least we have managed to get everything watered, though, today. Uh, let's go ahead and prop a little bit of water down here. You know, considering we went to the effort of getting the speed grow down, it wouldn't do to miss a whole day of growth after the fact. There we go. That should, uh, that should hold for now. But we now finally have a better backpack, and I am so thrilled thrilled with this uh i think we'll use the remainder of the day hmm. well generally speaking all of this is going to be useful for seeds if i want money i really should just make them into 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 um seeds and then sell that realistically um I think I'm going to get rid of the moral. Sure, we'll, we'll be 
we'll be getting rid of quite a lot of uh, that. We'll just be turning them into seeds and then selling them. Let's gobble down. No, no. I want to gobble down some salmon berries, not shake the tree with my salmon berries. I imagine now the tree is just covered in a, in a smush of salmon berries. And so are my hands. My hands are probably red now. Uh, that was silly of me. I wanted to put them in my mouth, not all over the tree that I'm about to chop. Right, now, let's get back to this. Uh, salmon berries are actually fairly good for you. I'm, I'm going to be honest. They are... They are really giving us quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of working power. I approve. I approve greatly. There we go. And chunk. Glorious. Uh, we'll take this one down as well. We'll just clear out this little area here. I may actually take uh, one or two of the uh, the maple trees as well. Now, that being said, we probably want to go and see if we can't pick up some more. Uh, some more spring onions down in Cinder Snap Forest. I think that might actually be a wise move, thinking about it. Yes, we probably do want to do that. Okay. Well, with that in mind, then, let's go and go and grab whatever we can while we can. Keep a, an eye out for any wiggly worms on the way. There we go. Nothing around that I can see at the moment. Let's go ahead. And check this out. Now, I would like to grab as much of the salmon berries as I can on the way back. If you are fastidious in collecting all of the salmon berries, then you can end up fairly easily with hundreds of salmon berries in just the few days that you're going to be able to gather them in spring. Hundreds of salmon berries. And I can only imagine it's exactly the same for all the other types of berries as well. Uh, any others? Uh, no. Well, uh, there, by the way, there is always a possibility to find one or two down there. Uh, I usually don't go to the effort of going down there because it's only ever going to be one or two. Uh, and, and there's a fairly good chance there won't be just due to the random placement of terrain that they can be sat on. You have to have a fairly good uh, set of, of, of conditions for the random generator to pick those exact tiles. Whereas with here, there's a fairly large area that it might fall into. Uh, there we go. Let's grab all these. Yoink. And let's go and grab this as well. Though I suppose, really, when you think about it, uh, a random one or two tile spot is just as likely to be picked as a random massive area. Since it is still only picking one or two tiles at random out of that massive area. So I guess it really doesn't, uh, doesn't impact it at all if you actually stop to think about it. All right, okay, well, we've got a, a good wealth of salmon berries there. We haven't uh, had an opportunity to gather too many from the rest of the town, but that's fine. Again, as I was saying, if you really wanted to have stupid amounts of salmon berries, you could absolutely do that. You could, you could uh, get hundreds. But you would have to be running all over town in order to do it. I'm not sure how frequently these respawn. It might be that they they have spawned on the map, and now I've got three days to collect them all. In which case, you could probably reasonably easily get all of the ones that you wanted. But uh, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that one too much. Uh, 56 salmon berries is pretty amazing, though. Uh, right, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to... Sell off all of these since they're reasonably uh, high value and that is gonna be all we move for now let's drop those off as well uh, the spring onions sure we'll, we'll get those gone as well I think we're probably solid on potential money here Okay, let's uh, drop this off. There we go. Now, I've had a couple of people in the comments mention that bats really are no better than they used to be. And that mushrooms are, even on, a, on the, the forest farm, still the superior choice. I don't know about that. See, I want to believe you. Because I was so frustrated with bats the last time. No, start you, okay. But at the same time, having that forage just... There, ooh. Okay, to you as well. But uh, having that, that 
that forage available in the forest, may, maybe it is worth just, you know, trying to go for that. Maybe we can just go for uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit uh, of fruit and just, just RNG it. We can now make the charcoal kiln and we can craft seeds, wild seeds, summer. Very nice. We've got uh, one axe proficiency and one wild berry harvesting. So, okay, you know what? I don't think I did have level four foraging to start the day. I had level three foraging. But somewhere in the day, I leveled up. It just didn't tell me until the end of the day. I hadn't noticed that before, but I definitely noticed that suddenly it looked like I was getting more salmon berries. It, it, suddenly I could see two berries dropping off the uh, the berry bush. That was actually pretty cool, though. I approve. We actually didn't make a bad return there. Mostly the uh, morels, but uh, that, was, that was actually quite nice. 1,300. Okay. I'm done with that. Absolutely. Now, let's have a quick look at what the day's got for us. Let's check tomorrow's weather report. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Okay. And uh, what about the fortune teller? Well, uh, well, we're, how are the spirits? Very good humor today. Okay, a little extra luck. I'll never say no to that. All right. Well, first and foremost, let's go ahead and grab the watering can. No, they're respawning every day. Okay. What about you, go? Right, well, if they're going to spawn every single day, then there is very little... Oh. Uh, hello. Um, I didn't actually mean to hold you up, but... Hmm. We've now got a... An owl statue. I don't recall ever getting one of those before, but, uh, alright, I'm, I'm down with that. Sure. I, I might even go as far as to say I'm happy to receive it. Oh, we haven't checked the note. Avak, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Grandpa. I am super surprised that we we didn't check that note already. My bad. Uh, any more salmon berries around the farm? Uh, it looks like they may be random. Uh, random respawns of the salmon berries then in that case. All right, well, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, I'm certainly not going to turn my nose up at uh, such an awesome fuel source. Uh, any more over here? Definitely got some wild seeds there. We've also got lots of little saplings hither and yon. Okay. But, oh, we've got a lot of work. A lot of work ahead of us. Now, with this glorious new backpack, I imagine quite a few of you are very eager to, for us to hit the mines. I just kind of feel that maybe waiting on a rain day would be the better move there. I'm not sure. Uh, we've also got a lot of forage I can I can gather up. I think I may just gather up that forage. Uh, and we're going to try and start laying out a bit of a better farm down here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that I... Oh. Uh, that I uh, allowed it to get so just a mess outside my front door. My goodness. Uh, I mean, you, you could make the argument that, ah, it's, you know, it, it's it's order in chaos. Everything is close to hand and exactly where I want it. But no, no, it is. I just I just planted things wherever I had space for them, which isn't the best uh, best way of doing it, really. It is not the best way of doing it. There we go. Let's get all of these sorted. But we have already got a nice big trail of forage for us to collect. So I imagine our foraging skill is going to be going up fairly quickly, especially if we take the time to plant as much wild, uh, as many wild seeds as we can every season. We're probably going to max out foraging very, very quickly. Uh, in fact, our next level is going to give us our first perk, which I'm actually quite excited for. You know what? On that, on that note, uh, let me have a quick look. What other skills are needed? No, foraging is the only skill that is uh, coming up towards its uh, first speciality. Let's grab these. Thank you. And you as well. There we go. Some more cash for us as well. Now, with crops, I don't recall. I, I can't seem to, to remember if it's when you sell the crop you get the skill point or when you just um, when you harvest the crop. But I'm fairly certain it's not when you plant the crop. That's about the only thing I, I, I do seem to remember. Now, the, in before, that is actually completely wrong, and that is the only time you get the skill point. 
I, I remembered it for, for one reason. I just can't remember if I was remembering it to exclude it or to include it. But either way, uh, you don't get uh, farming experience for everything you do. I think you do get a little bit for watering the crops, though, uh, if, I, if I recall correctly. Now, let's uh, have a quick look over here. I think, yeah, we're going to allow uh, a lot of the forage here to just... Uh, or rather the areas where I planted the forage to be be reclaimed by nature. I could get rid of it with with a pickaxe, but I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to do that. Certainly not when I've all, already used up so much of my energy today just watering the plants. It is almost 12 p.m. Though actually, that being said, we're making fairly good progress considering I'm a little bit surprised. All right, there we go. And we got our ladder. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that PS Store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? A few dozen? I mean, I could, but I don't need to, so I won't. But thank you very much all the same, Pierre. Thank you ever so much. Now, here is the question. Do we just want to make a bunch of seeds and sell those seeds? Or do I want to try and plant them a little bit further south? We will have to see. Out of the forest, I've got three there, three here. I've got three there. Uh, and I've got easily enough dandelions to make three bags of seeds. I could. I could go ahead and plant 30 more forage tiles down here. Or I could use that energy to plant crops. And I'm thinking more along the lines of crops, honestly. I would like to get my farming level up as quickly as I can. So that we can get to some of the nicer farming implements. Um, so I'm going to prepare a little field there. It's 18 tiles. And I'm just going to sell the spring seeds. Either that or, or I'll replant them in a little bit. I don't think they take very long to grow. It doesn't tell me there, but I think they, they're only like four days to grow, something like that. So it should be, uh, you know, well within my my abilities to get all of that sorted. Let's go ahead and grab a pickaxe because we're going to go and uh, hit the mines, I think. I'm also going to grab my torch just in case. Let's grab you. There we are. All right. Let's drop off the cauliflowers right there actually we're going to piers anyway so i may as well bring them with me oh, some more dandelions I won't say no especially with all of this extra backpack space and another daffodil i will never say no there we are now then with salmon berry batteries we should be good to, to go for quite some time i should imagine uh just as well because i'm extremely low on on energy right now. We can also see if there's perhaps any quests. I need a meal for a stew I'm making. Could someone bring me one? I would love to, Spassian. That's 255 uh, gold. But I think that's just going to be a little bit rough for me. Oh. Hello, everyone. Print Hound Dow. Welcome to Piers. How can I help you? Well, I want to buy some crop seeds, if this happens. <clears throat> Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? I mean... That's pretty rough on Piers. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. <laughs> Surprisingly, quite a lot of companies do that in order to grow the company. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. Well, they weren't loyal if it was that easy to lose them. <laughs> but can you blame them? Jojo Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. <sighs> Poor Pierre. It is a business, though. And it, 
I feel for Pete. I really do in that situation because these are not just his customers, but also his friends. But that that's the muddy, muddy uh, lake you, you kind of wade into when you mix business and, and friendships. I do all my grocery shopping here. Well done, Lewis. At least at least Pia has. Ugh, I'm not in a good mood right now. I'm sorry, Abigail. I don't even have anything particularly nice to to offer you to try and lift your spirits. I'm sorry. Hello. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. You keep going, Jody. Oh, look, I'm all red and sweaty. Uh, that's because you're working out. That's really good. My arms are strong, but my legs need work. <laughs> Exercising can be fun. Exercising is almost always fun, in my experience. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Well done. You're giving a proper workout there. I approve of the effort that you're putting in. Right, Pierre. I would like to buy um, something that's going to grow within the time that I have left. Uh, no. Well, actually, technically, yes. Could, but I'd have to plant them uh, right now. Um... Perhaps go for the kale. It only takes six days to grow. Uh, I could also go with loads of loads of plants, actually. I could go with loads of plants if I really wanted to. Um, I don't have any any apiaries right now. I would adore if we could pick out something for summer. Hmm. But right now, it would only bear fruit right at the end. But it would be good to get it, but oh, the, the prices, though, are exorbitant. Exorbitant prices, uh, I'm going to have to say no to. I think I'm just going to buy a bunch of potatoes. Let's pop them there. Thank you ever so much, Pierre. I'm very sorry about the uh, the situation with your business. Can't be easy. But, you know, that's the thing with... with, with business really is it it's not necessarily easy that's that's the uh, otherwise everyone would run their own business i wonder if any nice shells washed up on the beach this morning oh my could certainly take a look this is the best time of year for shells though oh, yeah it's fine there's plenty of shells show up uh i will take a look later maybe on the way back from no probably not on the way back from the mine i'm probably going to be down the mine until it's time for me to run home and maybe possibly collapse outside my house and then get robbed by jojo Mart employees your code didn't even need any of them at least i don't don't think that, maybe that's why i got charged so much <laughs> danger pay for the employees this valley is a vibrant and diverse ecosystem that's one reason i was excited to move here I'm really glad that you're enjoying it, mate. Let's grab all of these. Ooh, a little bit of extra forage there as well. Thank you very much, Lee. I will grab all of the salmon berries before we hit the mine. Oh, look at this bountiful harvest. And I can... Once we have the means to... In fact, do I have the means to yet? No, but once we do have the means to, we're going to be able to turn so much of this into jam. Here you go, Linus. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome, mate. Uh, no, I don't want to give him another gift. I don't want to talk to him. Have you come to ridicule me? Why? Why would I give you a gift and then ridicule you? I'm just minding my own business. I know you are, mate. I know. Uh, I'm sorry to have disturbed you. But, uh, oh, poor Linus. There we go. All uh, right. Let's get down into that mine and see what we can do with the remaining hours that we have open to us now this is an opportunity for me actually let's uh reorganize those there we are and then i want that on my hotbar all of this though needs to go away there we go marvelous right let's get down to level 10 are we going to be able to get all the way to level 15 with the time we have left i think it's less likely but you can certainly try I'm uh, going to need to gobble down some uh, salmon berries first, though. Uh, thankfully, I seem to be able to slow time when I'm eating. I mean, fair enough. There we are. I, I, uh, there's nothing. There's no rule that says I can't slow down time while I'm eating. That uh, means I can take my time. Everyone t tells you to take time while, while you eat, not to rush things. How else do they expect you to get things done and eat in the same day? Clearly, the only way is to slow down time. Localized time dilation. 
Uh, let's have a quick gander, see if there's anything else around that I would perhaps like to gather. There it is. Marvelous. So I'm going to grab this, and then I'm going to head on out. I don't need to kill the slimes, and I don't want to kill the slimes. If you take a, 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 if you take a shot at me, then maybe, but... I mean, technically, that one did, but still. There we go. Let's grab a little bit of, a uh, little bit more copper ore. Would love to get the watering can upgraded. That is probably going to be my first upgrade, I'm thinking. Simply because of how badly I need to be able to get all of my watering done quickly. I'm, I'm planting so much right now. There is actually a little bit of a, a potch. There's a ladder over there. Let's uh, jump on down. Pomp. Now, are we going to get another infested cave like last time? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. No. Okay, fine. You you took you made the move first, so this is okay. Ouch. Well done. But I disprove. Uh, nope. There. I do need to grab that bug meat though, because that's actually a fairly decent energy source even in its uh, in itself. Though, thinking about it, it's actually not that much better than salmon berries. And salmon berries are so much easier to acquire. No, not really need for you right now. Uh, let's see what we've got over here, other than a bit of random gubbins. Nope. I could see you, you had the intent to attack me. So no. Uh, right, look, you are literally trying to attack me. So, oh dear. Can't afford to be slimed. Not here. Oh dear. Ah! Uh, okay, fair enough. I mean, you know. This is battle after all. Nope. Well, I really would like to take you out. Uh, nothing, nothing out of that. I was hoping maybe I'd get something useful from that, but at last, no. Well then. There we go. Oh dear. Nope. Go, be gone. Okay, we've got a little bit of copper and a stairs that I need to take out. And, ha-ha! There we are, dagger attack. A little tiny bit of copper will do quite nicely. Now then, we've got one more level to go, and it looks like we should be able to make it. Now, unfortunately... Right. Nope. I'm just going to switch between weapons while I'm doing this. Yeah. Oop, that was a bit bad. Oop. Okay. Got a bit of a, a rhythm there, I say, just as I get smacked. For a moment, I thought we were doing well, but alas. Didn't seem to go quite as uh, well as I had hoped. No copper here at all that I can see. So a little bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping that we might be able to get a... Uh, oh, well, I suppose we can grab little bits out of the rock. And if I want to level up my mining, then just mining stone is not a bad option. Damn it. And then, come at me. Oh, no, no, not two. That's rude. There we go. Did we just take the other one out? No, we absolutely did not. Nevertheless, uh, that was actually not a bad engagement. But it does seem that the... Uh, oh, there we are. There's some copper. That the mine no longer wants to play and wants me to leave. Fair enough. I guess we'll we'll take that on the chin and make our way to the exit. Uh, just as soon as I grab this copper. There we go. Not a bad haul. Oh, and a geode as well. Because we, uh, we acquiesced to leave. The mine thought, ah, you know what? I'll give him a little gift. Thank you very much, mine. Right, with that, we can leave. Perfect. Right, let's drop off my weapons. Uh, drop off the torches. In fact, I'll take one back with me and grab all of the rest. Well, I could leave the bug meat. No, we'll, we'll take the bug meat with us. All right, not a bad run today. Not a bad run at all. Made another level in the mine. Well, um, that much I'm pretty happy with. Now... Uh, we'll go along the, the top road, the mountain trail. See if there's any forage there for me. Okay, well, that being said, I could make my way down to the 
for the beach, I guess. Mm, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna go out of our way for that one right now. There you go. A little bit more forage. All right. Not too bad. Now, I'm not actually sure if collecting salmon berries from the bushes counts as forage. Uh, to raise your forage skill, that is. One would hope, but I'm not actually sure. Right. Now then, we are going to need a few odds and sods. Let's drop off the forage that we got. Uh, and the other items. Uh, we will grab the watering can. Grab the fertilizer. Grab the sap. And we'll drop all of this off. There we go. Jeer as well. Sadly, we don't have enough coal, though. That's a bit of a potch. Let me grab a little bit there. Oh, not that we can really do anything with it. Uh, that being said, copper does get uh, get processed very, very quickly. So we may yet be, be okay. There we are. Let's get these seeds down. And hopefully at least fertilized and watered. I'm not going to worry too much about the copper. But getting these all done. We don't have quite enough fertilizer for all of them. But that's a good, good uh, start there. We may be able to get that last little bit of fertilizer down tomorrow, though. That fertilizer only really needs to be in effect at the end when you harvest it. And I think that may be why that's the only fertilizer that you can only plant uh, right at the beginning. Right when you actually plant the crop, if you fail to fertilize it with the quality fertilizer, then that's it. You just don't get that uh, that uh, effect going forward. Uh, it makes sense when you think about it like that. Uh, right, we want to drop off the sap. Now, is it much I would like to sell? Kind of, yes. Uh, I could definitely use these two leaks. Let's uh, organize this. Uh, two of those. Oops, a daisy. Two of these. And two of those. And two daffodils as well. There we are. Get a little bit of extra wild... Uh, some extra spring seeds there. I think we'll try and plant those possibly tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. We will see how that goes. And there we are, drop that off as well. And I think we're more or less ready to head to bed. Just as soon as I've uh, dropped off uh, some of these items. Okay, not too bad. It was a very busy day, Yoko, but I had fun. No star cat yet. Not too bad on the farming, actually. We managed to get 525 from that, just from three cauliflowers. Okay, not bad at all. Well worth the price that the the seeds cost, but yeah, it would <clears throat> we could only, we would have no room for any mistakes if I'd gotten those seeds. Uh, each season lasts twenty eight days, and we would have to harvest it on the last day. So if anything went wrong, if I failed to water them or anything like that for one day, I'd lose the crop, which would be a bit of a bit of bit of a big loss economically for us. But we've still got a thousand gold, which means that come Friday, if we can keep our funds up nice and high, we may well be able to pick something up from the caravan. But that is going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed today's episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.